It is now 517, 33 degrees weather and traffic. Every 10 minutes, we want to get straight to Storm Center 7 meteorologist Kirstie Zantini tracking a big swing in temperatures. Yeah, from yesterday morning to this morning, we're around 20 degrees colder. So that's going to be probably the first thing you notice when you step outside, when you send the kids to the bus stop this morning as well. They're going to need more than just a sweater. They need winter jackets as we go throughout our early morning hours today. Uh, temperatures right now about 21 degrees colder in the Dayton area. We are sitting about 20 degrees colder as well in Versailles. And most of us this morning are going to be sitting in the low to mid 30s. So uh, definitely giving us a start that we really haven't seen so far this school year. We've gotten close, but we have not seen temperatures uh, get down to 33 degrees at the airport quite yet. Here is a look, though, at our live temperatures right now, getting in these reads. 35 in Troy, we're at 36 in Xenia, and 39 in Springboro. Something to note, we just had the clouds pull away from the far southeastern Miami Valley. So just like taking off a blanket, we will likely see these temperatures in the southeast drop pretty quickly here over the next hour or so. Visibility looks good, so we're not dealing about any fog. It's more about the frost this morning. Kids are going to need jackets and jeans, but no rain gear. We're back into kind of a quiet weather pattern uh, with high pressure over us. We're not dealing with any rain or uh, showers or any snow, anything like that. It's just cold temperatures this morning. As we head through our school day, we will be sitting in the 30s early, then up to about 52 by about 3 o'clock. Big picture shows that those clouds have broken across the entire Miami Valley. So by losing that cloud cover, now with the cold temperatures and calm winds, we also have a higher potential to see frost develop as we head towards sunrise. Live Doppler 7 radar is always scanning the skies for you. We are catching a break from any rain today. Futurecast actually shows we catch a break from most of our cloud cover as well. Going through the morning, bright sunshine today, a little bit of scattered clouds in the afternoon, but you can see most of us have sunny skies as we head throughout our afternoon with just a few clouds then again for the evening. We should be able to climb to 56 today, which is still well below normal for this time of year. And then once the sun sets again, we get that quick drop down into the upper 40s by 8 o'clock. Here's some other cities across the Miami Valley today. 50 degrees in Belfast will be sitting in the low to mid 50s across most of the Miami Valley as we head into the night tonight, 38. So again, very cold tomorrow morning, not as bad as where we're at today. And we do hold on to a little bit of cloud cover with slightly warmer temperatures. So we're not expecting frost to be as much of a widespread problem. High temperatures, this should say for Wednesday, uh, back into the low to mid 50s. So again, we are stuck in a cooler weather pattern, not only in the morning hours, but also for the afternoons. But at least we have sunshine the next couple of afternoons, actually. You can see full sun again on Wednesday, with temperatures then just staying cooler than normal for most of the week. Thursday morning is going to be our next best chance to see that widespread frost or a freeze take shape that could indeed end the growing season. Heading into Friday, we track our next cold front that's going to bring rain showers. Could see a few showers linger Saturday. Looks more like scattered clouds, though. We're going to take a close closer look at your weekend forecast here coming up in the next 10 minutes. We do want to give you weather and traffic every 10 minutes, so let's get a check on the roads this morning with Sergeant Mark. Good morning, Sarge. Good morning again to you, Kirsten. We've had a good start to our Tuesday morning drive. It's been quiet out on the freeway system. Here's Interstate 75. This camera's at Wagner Ford Road, and we're looking at the light volume here. We actually checked out the travel times on 75 southbound from Interstate 70 to Route 35. That's a nine-mile drive. Road sensors are indicating you should be able to drive that in nine minutes. I'm Sergeant Mark Allen, WHIO Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. 521, 33 degrees. Coming up next year's Veteran Date Air Show, already in the works. So you can expect to 